Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. To start this project, you're going to need a pool noodle, a pumpkin bucket, a broom handle, some lights, and a bow. Remove the broom handle and stake the broom into the ground. Grab some black gaffer's tape and wrap it around the pool noodle. Slide the pool noodle onto the broom handle. Hot glue a pumpkin bucket to the top of the pool noodle. Place some orange lights into the pumpkin bucket and then wrap the rest down the pool noodle. Hot glue a bow onto the front and then hot glue a witch hat onto the top of the bucket. Enjoy your pumpkin luminary by day and at night. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments below. Grab some old bottles, pour in some paint, swirl the paint around and dump the excess back out. Let this dry completely. Wrap some twine around the top and add some leaves to create your own bottle pumpkin decor. Optionally, you can add some solar lights to the top for some added glow. For this project, I'm using some old baking pans. Spray the pans with orange spray paint and then let that dry completely. For the first pan, I used some gold glitter hot glue and made pumpkin lines down the front of it. I cut out some peel and stick felt and made a stem and then I added some twine for some vine. I also hot glued on some leaves. And lastly, I hot glued on a galvanized sign that said thankful. For the second pan, I drew on some lines and then I used some hot glue and I glued on some twine to make the lines of my pumpkin. Once again, I added a felt stem and some twine for the vine and some leaves, as well as hot glued on a galvanized sign. I'm thrilled with how they turned out. And here are several other ideas I used with different kinds of dishes and pans. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Paint a wine glass orange. Then add some yellow and some brown accents to give it that pumpkin look. Paint the stem green and then add accents like leaves and pipe cleaners to give it that fun vine effect. Once you're all finished, you have a candle holder for your dining room table. Grab a dollar store pumpkin, cut a little hole, poke out some letters, and then stuff some lights inside. You can create this glowing fall decor easily. Another option is to make a face. My son made this one. But that's not all you can do with these pumpkins. You can also use some chalk paint and paint those pumpkins black. Then use chalk on them to draw faces on them or write words on them for the holiday season. You can also use thumbtacks to write the number 31 for Halloween on the 31st or make a pumpkin face. Want to be notified of future videos? Look for the link in the description below. Grab some wood blanks from the dollar store. Paint the pumpkin orange with folk art ultra dye. Paint a smaller pumpkin with chalk paint. Draw on a pumpkin face or I used a folk art holiday stencil to make my pumpkin face on my wood blank. I painted the stem with apple barrel burnt umber paint. I seasoned the chalkboard paint so I'd be able to use it as a chalkboard. And I wrote the number 31 on the chalkboard. I hot glued the twine from the little pumpkin to the big pumpkin and I've made myself a Halloween countdown calendar. Grab an orange candle holder from the dollar store and draw some pumpkin faces on it. Add some green ribbon for a cute pumpkin. Grab an orange mug from the dollar store and draw on a pumpkin face. You can create several jack-o'-lantern faces on these mugs. Grab some fabric from the dollar store and place it wrong side up. Place a toilet paper roll in the center and stuff all of that fabric into the toilet paper. Lastly, add a stick or something of your choice to become the stem and something to become the leaves. I use some felt and some pipe cleaner for that. These make great decor anywhere in your home. Grab some window clings and a Sharpie or a dry erase marker. Have fun making faces and all of these window clings to hang up all season long. For this project, you'll need burner covers, ribbon, vine, and two signs. Place your burner covers upside down and spray paint them orange. While the burner pans are drying, hot glue your two signs together. Once the burner pans are dry, place them onto the backs of the signs and hot glue them into place. Wrap the leafy vines and garland around the burner pans and the sign. Take some green ribbon, cut it off, make a bow, and hot glue it above each of the burner pans. Cut out a jack-o'-lantern face and place it onto the burner pans. Glue the face into place. Your jack-o'-lantern topiary is ready, and you can place this on your front porch 
or anywhere in your yard that you'd like. Grab one of these faces and have fun painting it orange with a brown stem and a pumpkin face. Grab a pillow cover, cut out some adhesive felt, and then adhere it to the pillow cover. Next, add a stem. Optionally, you can add some foliage to it as well. Now that's it for this side. So we're gonna work on the other side, which you could do one or the other or both, just like I'm doing. Cut out a jack-o'-lantern face with some black adhesive felt. Then peel off the backing and place it onto the pillowcase. Add the pillow insert and your pillow is complete. And I hope this inspires you to make some pumpkin crafts of your own. Want 21 sensible home hacks to make you a smarter homeowner? Look for the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.